Come on in, girls. I'll tell Joe you're here. Yeah, tell him to hurry. It's very important. Hi, kids. What gives? I'm oh, just blazing a few weeds. Yeah, me too. Got to revitalize my system. You kids joining in? Yeah, let's make it a tea party. Can't do it. We're here on business. Yeah, just dragged in a new deal. Got another car for you. A real slick job, too. Where's it at? Outside on the lot, of course. How many times have I told you kids not to drag a hot car out here? We need money fast, that's why. 
Better go down and take a look at it before the owner comes around and claims it. Incidentally, how'd you kids get the car? Well, we just laid the driver to rest out on the highway. How many times have I told you? No rough stuff. I only touched him lightly. Yeah, he must have been the weak type. Why bother with details, Joe? We get them. You buy them. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Jack, come on, let's go out and look at the car. Okay, boss. Don't forget, we want a quick deal. Just as Jack and I are snug as two fleas on a camel's back, you gals got to barge in and take him away from me. He'll be right back. He only went outside to look at the chunk heap we brought in for Joe. You must be loaded. Let me have a puff off your weed. Go ahead. Anything else you want? Quit crying. We'll make it up to you as soon as we get some money from Joe. Joe promised to put me next to a good deal, too. Yeah? Tell us about it. I ain't talking right now. The car looks okay. Drive it over to Bud's garage and come right back. Okay, boss. What? Two hundred dollars? Well, that's nothing for that car. We gotta split that far away. We can sell it ourselves and get four times that much. Oh, no, you can't. It's a hot car. I gotta give it a new paint job and change the serial numbers on the engine. And I have to practically give it away to get my dough out of the deal. Yeah, and you take our money back as soon as we get it from you. You sure got us coming and going. Oh, let's forget the whole thing. Tomorrow's another day. Here's your share, and let's stop beefing. This'll just about last me two days. Here, take some money. I want a shot. By the way, you owe me eight bucks. I'll take that, too. Let's load up if we're going to the cellar. Hey, how about me? When do I get to join the cellar club? Any time now. Joe tells me you're being a regular gal these days. Kay. Yeah, Joe, why not come along with us? You know, you're always welcome. Sorry, girls. Can't do it. Gotta watch the joint. You know, you never can tell when business will drop in. No hey. sticks for me. I want another shot. Here on, that is. Okay, I'll have Daisy take care of you. Let's have your money, girls. Come on. All right, on your way. Come on, on your way. I'm busy here. Say, Joe, how about a couple sticks on the car? Sorry, honey, can't do it. Oh, come on. You can't be that mean. Oh, it's you. Hello, Doc. I'll give you my word. I'll pay you back just as soon as I get some money. Your word don't mean a thing. As it is, you're getting too many of these on the cuff. Come to think of it, you owe me 10 or 12 bucks already. I can't help it, Joe. I just gotta have it. It's gotta where I don't feel these things anymore. I gotta have five or six a day to keep me going. Anyone would think you're an old timer. Could be. How was I to know it'd get you so fast? Say, what's going on around here? Kid parties? As if you didn't know. Oh, I just thought I'd ask. They're, um, grown up kids. You don't say. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Joe's educating one of them right now. Always kind of makes me just a little nervous. See, uh, you haven't got a little drink, have you? I guess so. As long as you don't ask me for money on top. Come to think of it, I could use a little of that now, too. Don't you worry, honey. I'll show you something stronger. Something make you wish you'd never seen marijuana before. You mean it? Sure do. Well, you're a swell guy, Joe. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, hello, Doc. Come on in. Good Doc's always handy to have around. Always been competent, haven't I? 
June, I want you to meet Doc Bedford. Old Sawbones here is a regular guy. Oh, well, we've met before, haven't we, Doc? That is, professionally. You're okay, Doc. Say, how many bosses do you work for, anyway? Oh, I get around. Glad to be of service, you know. Come to think of it, you can be of a little service right now. What is it, boss? I want you to show Junior how to use a needle. Why, she's only a kid. From what you just said, it seems you'd met before. Professionally, that is. That ought to take her out of the kid bracket. That was medical. This is different. Did I ask for an opinion? Each day you give me the dirtiest jobs. I don't feel like breaking a kid in on a habit. The way you talk, anyone would think you're about to get your license back. Oh, you needn't bring that up. That makes me nervous. And besides, it's only a piece of paper. You're getting kind of particular all of a sudden, aren't you? Why pick on me? You sell that stuff. Why don't you show them how to use it? All right, give me a clean needle and I'll show her how it's done. Mighty handy way of carrying your equipment. I know, I know. Just in case of emergency. Now get out. If I need you, I'll call you. Go on, get out of here. Is this something really good? It's nothing like it. First thing you know, you'll want nothing else but. For the life of me, Daisy, I can't see what makes you hang around Joe. He doesn't even pay any attention to you. His mind's on kids, like the one he's in there educating now. That isn't Joe I'm interested in. Just that hanging around this joint makes it easy for me to get what I need. Too bad, Daisy. You're a good kid. Why, it even help you try and break the habit. It's too late, Doc. You saw that kid in there with Joe. Well, not long ago, I, too, was listening to Joe. In that same room. Always be sure and have the needle as clean as possible. Now pay close attention, June. I'm watching. Heroin is sold in capsules. It's a lot more expensive than marijuana. When you need it, see me. I got you, Joe. You're a regular guy. Be seeing you, Daisy. So long, Doc. Hi, Doc. Here, hold this. Dissolve it in a spoon with a few drops of water. And then you heat the drug with a match. Absorb it into the hypodermic like this. Put your leg up on the couch. You inject the stuff under the skin. On a girl, a leg is best. Few will get to see the needle marks.
Well, after that, Aaron, and the long walk back, I guess I earned myself a joy pop. You didn't give me a chance to offer. As, uh, as a matter of fact, I had you in mind. Come on in the kitchen, I'll fix you up. What'd they say over at the garage? Oh, it's a hot car, all right. They'll have to give it a paint job real fast and switch numbers on the motor. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Bud's got customers waiting just for a job like that. Oh. You seem to know your stuff right in the vein. Yep, I like my drug to act faster and work powerful. That's why I go in for hitting the mainliner. Hey, a little too much water there. Pour a little water out. Okay, wait a minute. See, we're promoted June into a customer for the heavy stuff. She'll have the habit and have it bad in no time at all. That's not for you to say. June is a nice kid, but she'll soon be as bad as I am. But she'll find out it takes a lot more money. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Girls can take care of themselves very nicely, a lot more so than men. You don't have to tell me. I know it as well as you do. Say, uh, by the way, Jack, it's been quite some time since you brought me a greenhorn. I could use a few new customers. All right, June, I'll have a couple for you tomorrow. I'm the school kids. Do I ask questions? You said it'll mean some more free shots for you. Oh, don't forget June. She'll soon be going strong on the new habit, too, thanks to you. Come on. Oh. All right, we can come back tomorrow. on the phone. Once not it's okay to bring over a couple of dudes. Sure, tell them to bring them over before they change their minds. Right. Hello, Jack. Boss says it's okay. No. Nobody here but Joe and I. Bring them over anytime. Here's your gang, boss. Susan wants a shot. Uh, I'll take care of it in the kitchen. Good. Jack. Hi, boss. I want you to meet Wanda and Bill here, pals of mine. Sorry we're late, Wanda. My pals, too. It's a pleasure, I assure you. Wanda and I have been getting acquainted while she was waiting for you. Say, uh, you sure your friends aren't too young? They're okay. They're not too young for you, Joe. Besides, they've never tried anything before. Well, that's just wonderful. Make yourself at home. Sit down. We've never tried it before. I'm not afraid. I'm ready to give it a try. Well, let's get down to business. You kids got any money? Sure, I got money. Don't worry about me. I always have money. My folks, well, I mean, they always give me the money I need. That's interesting to know. I'll, uh, I'll mark you down as a preferred customer. 
there are your weeds. Just one for Bill and Wanda. Oh, I almost forgot. Beginners. Now take it easy, Joe. <clears throat> They'll soon be regular fellows, however. Just to show you kids that you're welcome because you're newcomers, when you leave, I'm going to give you one apiece on the house. Gee, thanks a lot. That's swell. We appreciate it, mister. Drop it. Call me Joe. Joe's a regular guy, kids. Hey, Joe, I can use a weed later. How about a joy pop? I think I've earned it. Yeah, me too, Joe. I think I can use a mainliner. Sure, I'll, uh, I'll put it on the cuff. Those things come high. Be right back. Let's blaze them right away. But watch out, kids. Since you've never tried it before, you'll hit the ceiling. Yeah, I'll steer you on how to do it. <coughs> hold it, kid. Hold it. <coughs> Just hold it a second. Just like a couple of old timers. It'll be easier on the next drag. Take another puff. It'll help. Just go easy at first. Hmm, not bad. I'm beginning to like it. Oh, it'll just be a couple of old timers like us pretty soon. Yeah, and I want to join the cellar club, too. It's got them. Well, oh, they're tuned in from now on. Say, how about you fellas? I don't see you smoking. Oh, don't worry about us. We go in for something a little strong. You don't say. I got to find out about that. Ah, oh, you will soon enough. When the right time comes. I'm satisfied with this. It's all I want. Come on, Jack. Let's find out what's keeping Joe all this time. Yeah, we'll see you later, kids. Take your time. Take your time. Joe, my nerves are beginning to get the jumping jives. You didn't think I was going to give you a joy pop in front of those dumb kids, did you? Before you know it, those kids won't be so dumb. Just make sure you don't take too many of those mainliners. Only when I need them. I gotta be going. I feel like a million. Hey, aren't you gonna wait for me? No, you better stay and take care of the kids. They gotta find their way home. Maybe I'll be back by then. Yeah, you better stay. I wanna talk to you. What about? About that job you wanted to go on. Remember, these shots cost money. Got it all set for you to work at Brown's real estate office. That old fossil? Easy job. All you gotta do is answer the phone and watch the front office. Yeah, what else am I supposed to do? Nothing much. Just keep borrowing from them a little each day. Four or five bucks. Enough to pay for some of these shots you need. Sounds boring to me. Not for long. Time will come when I'll tell you to do better. That guy's got dough. Okay, Joe. Anything you say. You're a regular guy. You kids gonna remain here? What time is it? It'll soon be seven. Joe says he may need the room. Quit beefing. We're staying. How about a few more Mary Janes? You too, honey. Yeah, bring in the crowd. You better call your ma, Wanda, so you don't get into trouble. Tell her you're having supper with me. My ma doesn't worry about me. She has lots of friends. Wealthy people always have lots of friends. Just the same. You better call your ma. No, no, you call. She might believe you. I'm dizzy. Okay, leave it to me. I'll tell her. I want to thank you for bringing in the new customers. You're a swell gal, and I like you. Anytime you want a favor, ask me. Thanks, I'll remember that. Say, uh, that Wanda's quite a gal. You just keep away from her. She's too young. If that's true, she's starting early. Weeds today, shots tomorrow. Hey, I thought you were on my side. I am. I like you. Say, mister, I got a phone call to make. Got a dime? Out of money? You don't expect kisses for nothing.
Come on, go sit over in that chair. Oh, no, no. Won't do yourself any good acting that way. Be nice and you'll go places. Well, you fight. I didn't mean to. Don't you worry, Mrs. Johnson. We're going to have a swell dinner. You don't mind? I thought you were June's pet. Well, just pet, that's all. I'm sorry. That's better. Here. This ought to make us pals. Gee, thanks a lot. No, Mrs. Johnson, there are no boys with us. I know you won't be lonely. I can hear you have company. Goodbye. Oh, it's you. Hello, Doc. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can tell. You're all hopped up. You've just had another shot. So what of it, Doc? Be sensible. Where's Joe? In the room with a couple of kids. Kids? Hello, Joe. Oh, hello, Doc. What's this frothy little thing? I haven't seen her around the joint before. Now, this is Wanda. She's new here. Had her sticks today for the first time. Can't hello. say she's green anymore. Hello, Wanda. Sweet name. Yep. <laughs> say, what's this refuse doing here? Oh, that's Bill. <laughs> for a moment, I thought the garbage collectors were on strike. <laughs> say, Doc. How would you like a good stiff drink? Say, that's what I come in here for. Then how about you and Joe going out in the kitchen while I take care of Wanda? Think we can try for the cellar club soon? I'm ready whenever you are. What about Bill here? We got to include him or he and his folks might make it smart for us. Okay, I'll talk to Dot and the other guy. Say, uh, would you happen to have some money you could loan me? Sure. I can always talk my folks out of money. I'll pay you back. Forget it. It's yours for bringing me here. But don't tell any of the others. Just a minute there. Before you gals can go any further, you should know that there are certain initiation requirements. Yeah, I know all about it. Tell her. She doesn't. You promised I could join the regular smoke. Hey, you're advancing pretty fast, honey, but I still don't think you know about these certain requirements. Well, you know I've wanted to belong for a long time. It isn't quite as simple as that. Not many girls belong to our gang. You see, we sort of choose them. You mean you don't want me? Well, that isn't it. You make the requirements. You belong to the club. Well, all right. What are these so-called requirements? Well, you have to make love to five boys who belong to the club. Oh, well, that's easy enough. Maybe you didn't quite understand. I mean make love to each one, intimately. You mean have relations with five boys? Oh, I, I don't think I could. Well, you'll have plenty of free smokes from the boys, and you won't even know it. We'll see that the boys are not all around on the same day. Did you do that? Sure. Flo, Jesse, and Betty, too? Why, certainly. Every girl that's a member. Well, I'm game. I guess if you kids can, I can, too. That's the girl. <laughs>
Nothing goes wrong? Don't you worry one bit, honey. Doc Bedford's on our payroll. Yeah, we think that he gets a bottle every so often. We're well organized, if you ask me. Guess I'm not as tough as I thought. Here, honey, smoke this. It'll calm your jumpy nerves. Gee, thanks. cost me six and eight bucks a day. I need money and I need a bat. I'm desperate, Cho. I didn't know I was going to graduate to this stuff. They all do, honey. Well, what about that job at Brown's Real Estate? I'll talk to you about it right now, but first you need a shot to sort of calm your nerves. I know I've got the shakes, Joe, but I haven't any money. Don't let that worry your pretty little head. I'm not going to charge you. I thought we were pals. See him tomorrow. He 
Here's the six dollars you wanted. Remember, Mr. Brown, it's only a loan. I promise to pay you back. That makes eighteen dollars in three days. You won't have much coming when payday comes. I have so many bills to pay it. It's just terrible being a poor working girl. I'm only glad to help. You're a nice girl, June. Why, thank you, Mr. Brown. I could be awfully good to you, Mr. Brown. I'm just full of loving. I bet you could, too. Say, about $50 worth? You're talking about money? Oh, well, let's call it a loan. I still have bills to pay, and, and you'll get your money back. I wish I knew what those bills were for. You already owe me $30. You mean I'm only good for $30? No, honey, I didn't mean that. But this will make it eighty dollars. Please don't. I... I'm already falling in love with you. I'll get the fifty dollars later. No, I won't play that way. I want it now. I see what you mean. I'll get the money from the safe.
I'll go now. I want to pay some of those bills, but I'll be right back. Okay. Close the front door as you go out. I want to stay here and rest a while. Hi, Joe. About that girl, Joe, you know, we just didn't seem to get along. You know how it is. This your gun? Why, what's the matter, Joe? Anything wrong? We just dropped in to return your gun to you. The one June used to get away from you after you raped her. Oh, we know all about it. You can even ask Doc here. You know Doc. Yes, I do. Maybe we uh, should talk this over sort of privately. This is just a common shakedown, that's what it is. Call it what you want. With me, it's plain business. The least you say, the better. The girl is the victim. That gun is the evidence, and I, as the physician, am a witness. I see it now. I was framed before that girl ever came here to work. All of a sudden, you're getting smart. Okay, boys. This is all the cash I've got, unless you want to take a note. Save your notes. Cash is what I asked for. Hey, what is it? What's the matter with him? He's taking an overdose. Where'd he get all this stuff? He stole it from Joe. Is he okay? He's dead, I tell you. What should we do? Let's get him out of here in a hurry. Hello? Police? He's still got a weak pulse. Call for the ambulance. For months, gangs of these kids have been holding shindigs at night at the old warehouse by the siding, five blocks from here. The setup is ideal. Maybe so, but why pick Sunday morning for the job? It's ideal. It's on a somewhat deserted highway on a Sunday morning. Besides, all of Saturday's receipts are on hand. We cased the station already. I don't think I can make it. Not on Sunday morning. Why not? Because my folks make me go to church on Sunday mornings. Oh, what do you know? A rip forward amongst us. All right, tone down. So what? You tell your folks you're going to church early for a change. I guess so. I don't know what the world's coming to. Folks just want to run your business. Well, let's go over the plans once again so everybody knows just what to do. Yeah, and I expect every one of you to make good. Remember, y'all owe me money, and I want it before you get any more stuff from me. Okay, tell us once more about tomorrow morning. We'll be all set. You drive to the gas station. When you get there, the boys get out. You order gas. While the attendant's gas in the car, you walk around and make with a conversation. And I go to the station office and work over the register. Right. And by then, the boys will have walked out of range of the gas station. 
I get you, boss. I got it, Joe. Then I go around and give the station attendant the old sucker routine. It'll work. Morning, ladies. What'll it be? Making about ten gallons, big boy. Got a phone I can use? Sure. Out here or right inside the office. Pretty lonesome out here. It can be lonesome, all right, especially this early on a Sunday morning. Sounds interesting.
through all right, thinking of kicking the habit. They all talk that way, but they generally come back. Some pusher gets to them sooner or later. We picked up a peddler the other day. Uh, had 10 ounces of uh, heroin on him. This man's had over 100 arrests. He peddles narcotics to take care of his own addiction. He would, without a doubt, shoot heroin into the radiant veins of your 15-year-old daughter and would then send her into prostitution to supply the money for her addiction and his. Are we doing anything about it? Well, we got the information we wanted here. The kid says the fellow that supplies him the dope goes by the name of Joe. I gotta know how this happened. Oh, we held at the service station and locked the deal. Never mind the details. Remove the bullet. Look, I'm a respectable doctor, even if I haven't got a license. I can't stick my neck out for nothing. Besides, I gotta get paid for a job like this. Here's the money we got from the job. Eighty-five bucks. It wasn't worth the trouble. Let me have it. I'll take that. I want to see you get started in that bullet first. You'll get your money. Well, don't stand around. Tear her blouse off. You, uh, get me some hot water. And you girls, leave the room. I can't have women around. Tell me the doc's gonna operate on that filthy, dirty kitchen table? Oh, control yourself. Get honey. out of my way or I'll slug you. You can't go in, it'll be over in a minute. Take it easy, doc. I'll do the worrying. Here, give her one of these tablets. We'll make sure she doesn't get up and holler. Okay, here. Where's my instruments? <gasps> Listen, I'm telling you, I heard Wanda's voice. Oh, you don't hear anything. Here, boy. Bring them instruments here, quick. Put them right here. Look, all I promise to do is to remove that bullet. The rest is up to you. Just do your stuff, Doc, and see that there are no mistakes. We have to work fast, boys. Hand me that plan. What's taking him so long? Well, I quit worrying. Wouldn't surprise me if this operation was just another boner. What do you mean? Just another dead patient. Why, you low-down trap! There. What's going on out there? Well, the girls must be in trouble. I'll go and see. No, you don't. Stay right here.
tell you, Doc, it don't look good to me. Oh, she, she'll, she'll come out of it. Doc, I tell you, she's out cold. of him. Might as well call the coroner. 